Hi Dinosaur Omelette friends, Angela here. Today we're going to be talking about silky chickens and particularly, should I or shouldn't I trim around their eyes? Now, just to start with a few basic points, some people wonder, just to begin with, can they even see? Of course they can see, because if they can't see, then they can't find their food and water, and they do eat and drink and survive. <laughs> so in their home environment, their run, their coop, the air they're used to living in, they are adjusted, they know where their food and water is, they're calm and relaxed in that area. So the their vision is limited with all the fluff but they can see well enough where they feel confident enough to find their food and water if you're getting a new silky to add to your flock or if you're moving a silky from one pen to a different pen that they're not familiar with then it is good to trim around their eyes because with their limited vision in a new environment they won't be as confident and sure of themselves to find the food and water through either trimming or you can even use like a hair band that doesn't pull on, on hair um, or like painter's tape that's not super sticky to hold their fluff up and then their eyes are, they're open so that they can see. Now, when their eyes are uncovered, they become confident and more energetic. A silky moved to a new area will very eagerly walk around and explore the area. They'll socialize quicker and find food and water. If you have a silky that's completely covered, the eyes are covered, they'll be able to see, but it'll take a little longer for them to get confident in the area and they'll be more skittish. You want their transition time to be smooth and less stressful. Now, when you trim feathers on a bird, it'll grow back, but it's, it's not gonna grow back like human hair. It grows back at the rate that the bird is molting. So whatever their molting schedule is or pattern is, is how you'll know how quickly the feathers will grow back. It is helpful to have another person to hold the bird while you trim feathers. If you don't have another person, you can use a towel to wrap around the wings, around the body, to keep the wings contained. If their wings get loose and they flap, that's what scares them because they become imbalanced. You'll want to use a sharp scissor, something like a sewing scissor. This is a sewing scissor or uh, one meant for cutting hair. Could be small, doesn't matter. As long as it's sharp and cuts hair easily. Since I'm doing this by myself, I'm, I'm not gonna use a towel. I'm just going to keep in mind to keep her wings and legs secure. So her one wing is pressed against my body. I'm gonna put my arm against her legs and her wing. So I just simply blow. I'm just kind of holding her head loosely. I hope that was interesting and helpful to you. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. And also check us out on our Facebook business page. It's the Dinosaur Omelette. Thank you guys and have a great day.